All right, so let's recap the day on Saturday. Tom, an exciting day, especially in, in terms of overtimes. Let's go to a uh, best finish here. What's your best finish from Saturday? I think it's quite obvious what our best finish was. <laughs> UMBC Stony Brook, four OTs. And the plays made in the overtimes were incredible. Some of the saves made, and you look at UMBC coming out on top. Timmy Ligner, 16 saves on 28 shots. It was the longest game ever for UMBC. And an incredible win at that 13 12 in the fourth overtime UMBC don't forget last year were four and one when the pandemic hit two years ago we're under 500 going into the America East tourney knocked off Stony Brook it's true top seed went on to win and made the NCAA tournament and they beat Marist in the opening round so UMBC a flair for the dramatic and the Seawolves not very big fans of UMBC these days and uh, folks look out for the America East this yeah. is going to be fun you, you between these two uh, we've obviously seen good stuff from Stony Brook early on you, you got you Albany which we're going to talk about in a second but for my and Vermont Travis don't and forget. Oh, sorry yeah, Vermont, Vermont battling Syracuse yesterday they went up to the dome and, and they they battled nicely all right for my best finish let's go to upstate New York we're going to go into the snow Ooh. Colgate Holy Cross this game was pushed back. It was really like a four-something start. Mm. Ends up being a seven o'clock game. The snow coming oh, down wow. in Hamilton and Colgate winning it. Not only in overtime, a buzzer beater at the end of the first overtime session. We may have been looking at maybe two, three, four overtimes like yeah. UMBC. Jacob Sposita, the buzzer beater in OT. You don't see that every day because look, you don't take advantage of that possession. You go to the faceoff X, you lose the faceoff. That's a big yeah. situation. So Colgate uh, starting uh, able to get their first win of the year in overtime over Holy Cross. Yeah, that's, it's like a snow globe right now in central and upstate New York. Just never like, stops. You, there's like a, some sort of wall there where just, yeah. you walk in and there's snow. And congratulate I me. Mean, it's just a lacrosse game in the snow. Makes for some good pictures. All right, let's move on. And our next segment here will be my starting. I'm going to start Yeah, here. best story. Best story. Thank you very much. I did not know what it was. But the best story is St. Bonaventure. Tough week on campus. Dr. Dennis DePero, their president of four years, passed away while battling COVID-19. And what do they do? The sports teams go out there and win. And really incredible moments. The Bonaventure lacrosse team, the men's side, their first win in program history. Just came on the scene in 2019. Of course, had a full season then. Half or whatever, quarter of a season yeah. last year here. Beating Quinnipiac in their first game of this season. 13-6. Austin Blumberg. Three goals, three assists, and an incredible feat at that. The men's basketball team, also the number one seed in the A-10. They made the championship game for next week in that. So really awesome. cool movement really cool. after their president unfortunately passed away. Uh, for me, we're going to live that D3 life. A, a game you saw right here on LSN. Lynchburg knocking off number one Salisbury. Another top-ranked uh, team falls here on LSN. It has become a tradition. But the thing that stands out to me, down four to one early, the Hornets. So if you're Salisbury, it was their first game of the year. Maybe you expected a slow start. Got off to a good start. Mm -hmm. Lynchburg didn't go away. A not phase play in the top ranked team in the country. Snaps a six game losing streak against Salisbury for Lynchburg. Huge win for them. They are skyrocketing up the pole. Yeah, their goalie played great in yeah. that game against Salisbury, as we know, was a perennial power at that level. And Lynchburg, a team you can see every one of their home games right here on LSN. So make sure to tune in for that. Let's All go right. best BTB. All right. Thank you for getting this conversation going, Travis. I best BTB. Emma Ward, probably one of the best stories of the day as well. She had four goals and an assist. And watch the BTB here. A little flair mm. there behind the back. They dominated Duke. Ward, just a freshman. And maybe Syracuse has more depth than we thought. Fortunately, Emily Harris shut done for the year. But... Emma Ward with a spark here off the bench. You got three assists against Stony Brook as well. So some of these names you might not know, maybe you will towards the end of the year for the Orange. I'm telling you, it, maybe it's Carolina Cuse and then everybody else in the women's game. I don't know. I the mean, defense for Syracuse is what's going to pace them. The offense yes, we know good. has been good, but the defense is quite excellent. I can't wait till we get Cuse UNC in, in, in a few weeks here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go for my best TB, BTB. We're going to go to Fairfield, Connecticut. Oh, Charlie Kitchen, folks. Cooking one up. It was kind of on a loose ball. Kitchen just camping out in front and the little whoop. That was, that was a preconceived BTB. He was going to do that as soon as he caught it. Right? It, it improves the angle. He wasn't mm. going to score that if he shot it normally. 
So Charlie Kitchen in Delaware, that attack unit last night, ridiculous. Him, Ty Kurtz, Mike Robinson. I'm telling you, they're up there with some of the best attack units in the country, the, the three of them. They okay. scored 13 of the 17 goals for the Blue Hens on the way to a win. All right. Wow. Travis, why don't you start us off here for best moves? All right. Best moves. We're going to go back to the America East. I, I hinted at this early, earlier. U Albany, Dehoga Nanticoke. Did not play in the opener. They had some COVID protocol issues for a bunch of their starters. How about this move? How? What, I, I don't know <laughs> how he did that because the, the shot was wide, so it's kind of confusing as is. I, he went through the whole defense. I think every single guy touched him falling down. He's on his back and he scores. From his back. I mean, it, this guy finds a new way every <laughs> single game to score a goal it, true he has had some of the most unique goals we've ever seen yeah like that's a one-handed from his back that's where Tom. you look he looked up he saw net and he's like i'm just gonna shoot dehogan anico anytime you have a chance to watch this guy play lacrosse it doesn't matter where what level who he's playing against it's a special opportunity it's good to have him back and uh mm. well uh, he he did more than that. Three goals, four assists, and a win. All right, let's go on for my best moves. And Christian Quadrino for Boston University. Look at these moves. Oh, oh what an defender oh. on skates. And we can show this because Army did win. But you got to give the individual effort some love because that is some quick feet at X. Oh, that little last one was the oh, meanest of them all. This poor it, it, Film session's going to be brutal this Fre week. Freshman from New York, two goals oh. and an assist. Army won the game 12 to 10, but give him some credit. I mean, that's some stop and go stuff there. That's beautiful. Yeah, it, it's been icy up here in Boston for a couple weeks here, but there was no ice on the, the turf yesterday. Sorry, Army.